testing, testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. Look, I'm wearing a cute dress, guys. Can't see it because of framing and stuff. We'll get <laughs> More carrots. Don't tear it. <laughs> More carrots. Where's Garrett? Hi, everyone. It's me, Lucky Hell. Hello. <laughs> I haven't been able to film for a little while. I've had a really crazy flare up of eczema all over my face. I might drop in a photo uh, just so you know I'm a real human being and we all have shit that goes on that makes us feel crap. So that's been obviously not a fun thing to feel and also I've been avoiding wearing makeup uh, totally. But now I've got a little improvement going on after seeing a very wonderful dermatologist here in Manchester so I thought I'd take the opportunity today to film a little YouTube video. As always if you like my videos and you'd like to see them please hit the subscribe button. If you would like to share my videos that's really helpful. Liking the videos tells me that you like the content and I mean we know this every YouTuber says it at the beginning of their videos so yeah do the thing if you like the stuff. Today I wanted to talk about tattoo regret because of course this is something that is going to come up if I post videos of myself getting a large tattoo removed. I've got a pretty thick skin because I'm a performer and I have to be in front of people even when I don't feel good but it does feel kind of disheartening when people are kind of bashing your choices and making assumptions about tattoos and how you feel about them based on one video. But hey, that's the internet and I put it out there so I've got to kind of deal with it. But I did want to discuss it today and in one of my previous videos I did say there's a little bit of kind of taboo on the topic of tattoo regret or changing our minds when we're a heavily tattooed person because there are so many people out there that are so ready to point the finger and say, haha, that was a crap idea, you shouldn't have been tattooed, see we're all right, tattoos are terrible. And I think that we are so used to getting quite a lot of flack from other people about being tattooed that we don't really like to admit if we do have some tattoo regret or would change some things. Now, regrets aren't inherently bad. We all have regrets. We wish we didn't date that loser. We wish we didn't eat that extra side portion of chips. Uh, we wish we had more fiber in our diet because we're constipated. Like, these are all <laughs> simple regrets. And I know it's different with a tattoo because it's permanent. Now, if you have one or two tattoos, I would say that regretting a tattoo is a much bigger problem because it's going to be a really obvious mark on your body. Just like your first or second tattoo is kind of shows up a lot more on your naked skin as opposed to if I get a new tattoo, it's like you wouldn't even really notice it. And there's less pressure on it to be the perfect position in the perfect place because it's just going to look like amongst all my other tattoos. So I understand if you've got one or two or a couple of tattoos, if you regret them, it can be quite a big deal. But if you're someone who's committed themselves to modifying their body quite a lot and you're doing it because you like changing your body, then having something that you want to change again or remove or wish that you hadn't got, that's kind of a part of the process. We know what we're doing when we get tattooed. We know that we might one day not like one or want to change one. And it's kind of the process that you go into and it's kind of the deal you make with the devil when you start tattooing your body you kind of say like all right I'm going to change my body and it's always going to look different and you're accepting the risks of it not always looking perfect I don't know what world people are living in where they think that you're going to like something forever we don't love anything forever we change constantly our views our perception how we see ourselves how we look ourselves you know, look at your eyebrows 15 years ago. I bet they look a lot different to now. And they might look a lot different when you're older. These are like really small things and they do alter and they're not permanent and that's fine. And it's like a less of a risk to change your eyebrows or change your hair. But if you get tattoos, you've got to have a little bit of common sense and know that you're not always going to like the same thing. You're always going to like changing your body because if you're so inclined, then that's probably what's the driving force behind getting tattoos rather than looking a certain perfect way uh, like art you know you're kind of evolving art which is like what a human should be evolving art we're not really meant to stay the same I don't know if any of this made sense but I think my feeling on regretting a tattoo is being honest enough with yourself that you never always love something and if you're gonna take the big step of marking your body permanently and you know going on the dark side and tattooing yourself you've got to be prepared by the fact that you might not love it one day and you might want to change it and that's 
that's the gamble I was happy to take and I'm happy to be here with loads of tattoos that I love and one that I love but I want to change just because I think it would be a really interesting experience and it's such a big tattoo it's going to make my body look so different it's almost like getting a big tattoo I'm removing a big one and I'm going to have the area that I can tattoo it again. I mean, as someone who wants to modify themselves, that's pretty much the coolest thing you can do. When I started getting tattoos, there was no Instagram. There was no hashtag inked girls. There was no famous tattoo artist that you could see. There weren't these perfect bodysuits with people who didn't have any tattoos and just straight away got a beautiful bodysuit by someone famous. You know, there wasn't that. It was just local tattoo shops and tattoo magazines and coming up with ideas and wondering, will this look good? I'm going to do it. It was a little bit more organic. And I think that the story behind those tattoos, even if you're like, oh, that was a bit silly, there's a story behind it. It wasn't because you saw it on Instagram and you thought this will make me look really good in a photo. So that's all I'm saying. I think that people who have a lot of tattoos or a few tattoos, it's totally okay for us to say like, oh yeah, I regret this one. It's not like, aha, see, tattoos are the worst thing you can do. It's more like, here's a person just being honest and they maybe would change this tattoo if they did it today. Like we would maybe change a lot of things we've done in our lives if we could just go back and redo them again. But such is life, such is physics. Time doesn't seem to go that way for us, so. I don't know, why do we care? So this is just a short video, my thoughts on tattoo regret and why it shouldn't be such a weird thing to admit to if you are heavily tattooed. Say la vie a little bit. If you've got tattoos you regret, that's fine. That's a part of the story. And if you're thinking about getting tattoos, the whole thing about maybe you'll regret them one day, that's not just something people say to stop you from getting a tattoo. When you're young, it sounds like that, but it is true. Like you might regret that tattoo. If you end up being a very tattooed person, you probably won't care that much. If you only have that one tattoo and you regret it, it will probably make a big difference. Um, but there is wonderful things like laser tattoo removal and tattoo artists who can cover up tattoos. And there is a never ending journey with our bodies. Our bodies are not these static inanimate objects. And this obsession with keeping our bodies looking the same way even though they don't by the very nature is confusing to me but uh people are really people really love to think of it like that anyway i have babbled long enough if you like this video give it a like if you want me to talk a little bit more about the tattoos that i would remove if i could just let me know in the comments and i'll do a video of the tattoos that i would change maybe will change maybe cover-ups or ones that i'm just like ah oh, that was just a regret who cares okay bye Thanks for watching. Vegetables. You come from the west side.